Hi guys, this is Carol. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long, long time. Um, the format of the video looks a little different. I'm a little different. I'm now a mom. Uh, we welcomed a baby boy back in December. Um, everyone is doing well. I'm doing good. Um, tired, but you know, um, we've moved past survival um, into, I would say, like thriving a little bit but not without its challenges for sure. And I didn't wanna push off making this video because um, I didn't have my setup right. Uh, as you can see, things are just, you know, not the way I would like them to be, but I just didn't wanna push this off any longer given that it's been so long since I've posted a video on here. And I hope to do another video sharing, you know, I guess my birth story and, lessons I've learned so far and, you know, everything that comes with being a new mom and having a new baby. Um, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted to do a video regarding a recent experience that I've had with a new treatment actually for hair that I had not heard of before. And I know my keratin video has been pretty popular. So um, I figured I'd share this with you guys. Basically, ever since having a baby, there's limited time to do anything and everything. It's a challenge, honestly. And one of the things I was struggling with was basically maintaining my hair in a presentable condition. My hair is not the type of hair that you just let it air dry and it looks beautiful. Um, it very much requires, you know, some heat. And I was struggling to even find time to wash my hair, much less actually blow drying it, straightening it, etc. So I was gonna do another keratin treatment, um, but actually when I went to do some highlights, so I did do some highlights on my hair. Uh, when I went to do it, the girl was Brazilian. She recommended a Brazilian Botox hair treatment, which I had never heard of before. And she said, you know, maybe you should try this. It's, um, I guess, less chemical or um, it's a more subtle kind of treatment, but gives you, you know, smooth, frizz-free, less volume type of hair. And I was like, okay, um, I'm here, let's just try it. Um, so basically this is my video kind of explaining how that went. I just got back from getting my Botox uh, treatment done and I wanted to do a video before I forget to do it. So essentially what happened was I got there, I um, the lady washed my hair with only shampoo and then she applied, I guess, the Botox to my hair. She split it in a variety of different ways to make sure the product got all over. And then I had to sit with that product on for about 35 minutes. At which point she then rinsed about 80% of it. So 20% of the product remained on my hair. And then after that, she rough dried it and then sectioned my hair and blow dried, uh, blow dried different sections of it straight. And then the last step was that she separated my hair again into little, little tiny parts and then uh, straightened it. And she went through each section multiple, multiple times. Um, the good thing about this treatment is that it did not smell at all, contrary to the Japanese treatment and even the Brazilian keratin treatment that I've done, that I've done in the past, those have smelled. This, you couldn't even tell, you know, that something was on my hair and it was kind of just in the air. Um, but anyways, so, I'm supposed to stay uh, with it on my hair for two to three days before washing. And so my hair now um, is very straight. However, it feels like there's product on it. So it feels kind of waxy. Um, so, you know, it's this is not what it's gonna look like. It's just, you know, very, very straight and just kind of waxy feeling. I'm not supposed to um, put my hair behind my ears, put it up in a ponytail, put any clips or anything on it because over the next two to three days, the hair is supposed to be as straight as possible, I think, to help, um, you know, keep the product on a straight hair. I don't know. Um, but I can't put it behind my ear or anything like that. <clears throat> it's going to be a challenge because it's just, it's in my face. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to be washing it in two to three days to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, but it is heat activated, which means that supposedly 
for me to get the best result, I do need to blow dry it. Not fully, but I think I just need to just rough dry to kind of activate and get the best result on it. Whereas I think the Japanese and the Brazilian keratin, they just, you know, if you just walk out and air dry, it will be pinned straight. Um, so you don't need the blow dryer whatsoever. But yeah, just wanted to quickly show my hair right after the treatment i got home you know a few minutes ago and this is what my hair looks like and i will be sharing an update once i wash it hi guys i just woke up and changed um i washed my hair last night i rough dried it with the hair dryer no brush so simply just kind of like you know getting the excess water out and this is what my hair looks like the next day to be honest, I was afraid last night before going to bed because my highlights, which I recently got done, were very yellowish, um, which I did not like. And there was just some curling under my hair and it was just near the roots. So anyways, this is what it looks like. I just woke up. It's not pinned straight, like I guess the traditional keratin. Um, there's some waves under here. Um, but there's like no volume, there's no frizz. This is what it looks like. I did blow out my bangs with the brush though. So like right here, it's super straight and super, super soft. Um, don't mind the mess of my house. So this is what it looks like. Definitely some waves because my hair is curly. So last night I washed my hair and I blow dried it about 80% and in the last 20% I used my Dyson Air Wrap and this is the result. This is what my hair looks like. So it definitely, I would say, uh, almost 100% straight really. Um, there's still maybe some little, like I don't know if you can see, I mean it's still very straight actually. I wouldn't even maybe count this. Um, yeah, it's pretty straight and even underneath here, so there's some waves slightly because I think, uh, during the night, um, if I get hot, my hair usually gets a little wavy right here, but it's pretty smooth and straight on both sides. So if you do use a brush you get pretty much like a keratin kind of air dry result um so i wanted to just show you guys what that looks like very very soft and smooth but i did have to use a brush to get this result so i've had this done in my hair about a month ago and um a couple of things I wasn't a huge fan. That is my takeaway, kind of final thoughts on it uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's not a type of treatment that you can just walk out of the shower, you know, do stuff and let your hair air dry and the hair will dry naturally beautiful or nice. It requires some maintenance. Um, it requires blow drying. It requires actually using a brush to get the hair straight. Um, so there's some manipulation involved. It's not like the keratin that, you know, some air blows on it and it's poof, amazing. So I didn't like that I still require or that I still needed to spend 20 minutes to blow dry my hair. Um, the second thing is that it leaves a chemical smell on your hair for a couple of weeks. So I use a shampoo and my regular conditioner. Um, I use a Redken, which the salon lady mentioned that it's a professional line, so there's no problem using with the Botox treatment. But despite using the shampoo and conditioner, my hair smelled when it was wet, like a chemical. Like it just did not smell good at all. Once I dried it, the smell kind of went away. But she told me that it's very common and expected to have the smell on your hair for a while, which I did not expect and I did not like at all. In addition to 
the smell, my hair just felt when wet. So things changed when they when the hair got dry, um, the smell went away and the texture improved. But once my hair was wet, it felt like hay. Like it was very, very dry and like, I just didn't like it at all, honestly. Uh, but when I dried it with the blow dryer, then it became soft and you know, like fine. But again, I didn't like kind of how it felt once it was wet. Um, and I, I don't know, like it, it helps a little. So I guess if you're the type of person that still likes to curl your hair, perhaps, um, I think I would still be able to curl my hair. So the keratin, once you do it, it's pretty like straight uh, for several weeks, maybe even two months plus, uh, three months maybe, depending on your hair. Um, I would not have been able to curl my hair at all. This one, I did not try, but I think I would have been able to curl my hair if I wanted to, because like I mentioned, if I just rough dried it, it would have some waves, um, especially here at the bottom and all that. So I think it would have held a curl uh, or some waves, but I don't have time to do any of that. So if you're the type of person that just wants something to manage the frizz, um, you know, if you have very like thick hair and you just want something to like tone it down a bit, maybe it's it's a something to try. But I just didn't think that it worked for me personally, given the situation that I'm in, where I just want the least amount of work, the highest amount of results. Like given that, I don't think it worked for me. Um, so I am gonna do a keratin treatment um, in a couple of weeks. She told me that it's safe to do another treatment about a month or so after um, you know I did the other one. So definitely you wanna be cognizant of how, you know, um, how much stuff you put on your hair because you don't want to damage it. I don't want to damage it. So I am going to wait a total of maybe like a little bit over a month, five weeks or so um, to do it again because I still very much do not have time to do my hair um, and I don't want to have to blow dry it every time to get the result that I want. But yeah, so um, this again, like I blow dried it with the brush I even had to use a straightener on the ends to get it kind of like smooth on the ends. Um, but it very much kind of smooths it out. Uh, it's still shiny, but again, it requires 20 minutes of me blow drying and, um, you know, using a brush or my air wrap, my Dyson air wrap to make it straight. Yeah, so that's all for now. Uh, <laughs> I hope to be able to be I hope to make more videos soon, but um, this is just kind of what's happening now um, and I wanted to come on here and share with you guys. So until next time, bye.